Hello guys, you join me on another honest review vlog. Today we're going to talk about the new Fox Black Label QR Bank Sticks. So, hope you enjoy. Hello guys and welcome back to another honest review. So, for the past three and a half months, I think, I've been using the new Fox Black Label QR bang sticks and um, I'm just gonna give you a little chat, my honest opinion about them and see how you like them. Um, well, how, what your thoughts. Um, this is just my opinion. This might not be; these might not be right for you. They, some will. It all depends. So let's get into it. Talk about the range so at the um, so far. They do um, they do six, twelve, no six, nine, twelve, eighteen, eighteen, twenty-four, and thirty-six um, length. Um, that's length. Of the bank sticks um, so, uh, and for the six um, inch they are um, they don't they don't come with the PowerPoint from that they all do and yeah they got they got the um, bank stick um, stabilizer um, in there as, as an option they got couple different but they got buzzer bars they got adjustables they got um, some two rod um, two rods um, st still standard fixed and three rod um, fixed then they do them in different lengths I think there's two lengths for each one so there's the biggest length width um, for the two rods and the and a small a narrow one and the same again with the three and then they've got a lot like of narrow three as well um, they also also got the now they brought out the, the adapters so you can have them set up as a gold post now um, we we'll talk a little bit about that because as you can see mine are on go gold posts so let's talk about let's talk about um, what you get in the with the bank stick so there's gonna be a clip on in a minute um, on, on screen um, so when you first get them out um, good thing about it is all of it all of them come with a little handle um, handle yeah handle help leverage Ooh, leverage um, to start turning the bank stick into the ground using that helping get go around and these all store in, in a, inside the inner stick um, what I think is handy because years ago if you can remember they used to get the used to have it clipped on to the what the screw on the package and where people uh, where the shop's price on and um, used to get it clicked on but and then you used to have loads of them in your bag but now it's all stored in the bank stick itself and I think that's really good because at least you know one of them's got to have it in if you do lose one so that's another good thing um, all of them do come with the inserts what screw in the bank stick um, it on screw on to the threads and what you leave on um, for the quick release to work. Um, every single bank stick will come with one. Even you get some with the um, adapters and buzzer bar adapters um, as well. Um, that's what they offer. Um, yeah, so yeah, as you can see, I'll, I'll show you how how it works and screwing in. Then let's. Then what I'll another thing what with the powerpoint it's good if you've got a bit of solid ground 
um, help you get them into the ground. Um, the only downfall is it might be a bit more tricky for like really gravel, like gravel swim, um, or very, very lot of bricks in the soil or the swim itself. Bits of brick and hardcore. Um, where I fish at the moment, it's a bit of a mixture, but it's more on dirt, a little bit of hardcore, but it's oh, these bank sticks are coated with that. So, for that's the reason why well, you've got options there. Personally, so far for me, that's all they're fine. I'm, I like them. Um, and yeah, so then uh, as another clip that should come up. Um, you can see um, the banks, um, the buzzer bars. As you can see, um, they quickly snap onto the bank stick, very easy. Um, Shred on, just turn the little, there's a little knob on the top, you just give it a little turn round and that releases the inner bit and you just or release it or turn them to slot them in and then lock and, and straight away, straight in, done. Um, and then on the other hand as well, um, what I like, because I've got the, as you can see, they're adjustable. Um, the adjustable bank, um, buzzer bar. Um, if I only go into a place or a venue what allows only two rods only, I can put them um, put them in tight and as you can see uh, you can remove the alarm quick as the centre alarm and then it looks neat and tidy actually looks like a two rod buzzer bar. I like that and then another thing about the inserts you don't have to worry of get, making sure your alarms are dead straight you know all them hours you've been like tightening them tightening them tightening them to get them all lined up perfect on the buzzer bars or you're using the old plumber thread um, tape to make tighten get a little bit tighter before so it can just sit perfect don't have that problem now the just um, the insert will help you find the spot and you tighten down to that and it will then stay like that for a while um, getting on to um, what what I like as well, the um, bank stick stabilizers. As you can see, it's a side. It, it's a so, you know, unclip it. Um, it opens up on the side, um, so you don't have to put the bank stick through it first. And plus, because it's power point, um, you don't you don't have to worry. Trust because normally the years ago they don't it wouldn't allow you to use a power point, but now because it clips on the side you can use any bank stick, stick um, with a power point on it and these will go on the side and, and as you can see it's got like a little hook you hook it in the, on a bar on the side and you just click it and snap on it and it stays on solid and that's what I like about it you can slide it up and down up, release it and it, you don't have to take it fully off the hinge um, you can leave it semi unlock you can move it up and down, side to side, whatever, and then snap it, snap the um, um, lever again, and it will lock it in place. Um, like I say, they all got the old um, cam lock again um, on the bank sticks, um, and that's what the mechanism for the stabilizers as well. I love that idea, nice and solid, not had a trouble of any bank sticks staying up or, you know, they're all good so the only um, talk about the um, the uh, buzzer bar adjusters um, all the adjustment clips and you know what I'm on about their um, buzzer bar um, adapters adjusters whatever they want to call them I can't remember off by heart but um, they come in a set of the standard threads they come already standard or you could get the QR um, adjusters as well and each when you get with the, the adjusters you all get another extra um, inner um, quick release cap where you screw on to your bank stick um, and a lot again every bank stick has one of these comes with one of these no matter what um, as, as you saw in the earlier footage, I am using a goalpost setup. 
Um, the only downfall, I'll be careful guys, the only downfall with these, this is my honest opinion, if you don't make sure you've got it nice and tight, I know you might think, oh I don't want to do it too tight because it's got to be a bugger to under it, no, do it tight. Um, because I didn't, I tightened it down, but I left, I didn't tighten it enough because I thought, oh it seize on if I ever want to change it. But no, do do it, because um, if you don't, if you, if you take the bit what what you screw onto your alarm or your rod butts, um, if you look inside the Allen key bit, um, in if you the twist lock um, release um, button, um, if you look, it will start moving a bit very loose if you and if you look inside at the allen key bit it will it will wobble a bit and if you and if you tighten it more and give it some it won't wobble again and that's what i've done and now all of them are perfect so my the choices i went with was 30, 36 um 36, 18s, and 12s. I didn't go for the 24s or the 9s or the 6s. It's just that I don't think I would use them. 36s is for if I go to a place where the rods are need to be in the water. But other than that, the 18s are for piking really, and the 12s are mainly for carp. Um, things what I change about them. Um, don't get it wrong, I'll. I like, I don't think, I think you never go get away with it to be honest. Um, with the black bank stick, obviously, screwing them in the ground, it's got, obviously, um, after a while the paint may scrape or get scrape marks because of stones in the actual ground. Um, I don't think, I, I don't know if it costs more to make a metal, full metal, right through and through black sort of metal I don't know to like take off the you know what I mean you know so of paint uh, like spraying them I don't know but other than that I, I think all the rest of it I find has been amazing um, I like them yes they're a bit pricey more pricey but god this they are worth it if you're an angler who gets do quick overnighters um, at work, you can go straight from work then to work. Um, uh, and these might benefit. The only thing what will take time is screwing the bank sticks, but after that, everything just slot on quick, quick, click, click, done. Um, so you, you wouldn't have to worry. You could quick release things and get them packed down quick. Um, Instead of unscrewing everything, just release, it's so much faster, I enjoy it. Um, another thing I've done is left the centre, um, centre um, inserts in on my buzzer bars, just in case I ever want to go back to a T sort of, T sort of shape um, setup. Um, instead of a goal post, I don't have to faff around keep unscrewing things now I just thought I'd leave it there just if I want to just use it like that um, but yeah um, there ain't really much bad points about it really um, uh, no um, the, only, the only thing I do worry for Fox I, I, I know I don't I have noticed that the inserts, what you screw on to your buzz, well, your alarms for the insert. Um, notice they don't, I don't know if they're called change it, I might change it, I might talk in too soon, but I notice they don't come under spares um, for Fox. Um, so, in case people are a bit clumsy and losing them, they shouldn't be losing them really, because they're, they're going to be screwed at some point, um, lose them. Um, then I have to buy even a new bank stick or the buzzer bar adapters um, just to get the spare inserts. I don't know about that. That could be a thing Fox can look into. I know, you know, they could do like 
three in, search for five or something, you know, do little, you know, sort of price like that. Um, I don't know on that. I might be talking too early for that. Um, but yeah, they really are good bank sticks, to be fair. Um, I wish they could probably do a bit where they just had the single um, points on them instead of the screw in one way I do wish they did do that um, but then again I suppose they're not designed if you do struggle if you've got I know I don't care what anyone says personally we all do it um, sometimes you might have to use a little bit of a mallet just to get them started to get them in um, it might damage the mechanism and the ball because these have got little ball bearings inside these are um, quick release and what will lock in the insert um, it might damage them shake them belt come loose so probably in a good idea that's probably what it went with the PowerPoint really and to be fair it does make sense I've just been an idiot now um, but yeah I've really enjoyed them I've really have loved the bank sticks um, so far and uh, like I say the only thing I would change is probably if they can get the paint um, in the metal instead of I don't don't ask me I, I'm just going what I think they are I don't know if um, they probably are um, sprayed on the black but um, it'd be good if they can make a solid metal black um, alley because these are all aluminium as well so light as well so so no stainless so that's another good plus point if you want to carry light um, but yeah, I don't know if they could make it in the metal. I don't know if that would cost more. Probably cost more, but um, at least it might take the way. Um, the obviously, I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not saying this got to be perfect because you are putting an object in the ground. Um, I can't say it got to be perfect. Everything gets scratched up, but I thought it could probably help coat that bit because my um, my. 12s have got a little bit but then again that's where I am that's the venue I am on is the swim so um, but I'm, they don't bother me one bit because that bit is in the ground don't see that um, long as it's nowhere near the lo um, cam lock bit it don't bother me but other than that I love them glad I went with the adjustables and um, yeah my so it's a if I had to rate out of 10 I give them um, um, and out of 10 I'd probably give them 9 um, probably yeah, no a bit too yeah. I'll say 8 I'll give them 8 and people will be like why if you enjoy them 8 is because 1 I don't know how the how um, well just the life of them for a start with the mechanism I want to see how well they do um, how long, you know, if you know, if they're you know, how long could do, and plus, um, if I still, if I get recurring looseness, um, but that was my fault. I'm just saying, if anything will get loose, but I, no, I've made well, I must admit, and I do like it, you know, even I've got one, I've got one, two, three. Four, five, I've got five inserts spare, and I've still got three at home on my other alarms for my pike alarms. So, <laughs> and then I've got another two in the centre bit as well. So I've got plenty of inserts. So you probably wouldn't need spares, but other than that, that is my honest opinion about them. I like them. I've, if you're not had look, go have a look in the tackle shop if they got them. I know they fly quick, quite quick. Um, so I know they're a little bit popular, but if you can, have a look at them. Um, have your honest say. Um, prices are a little bit high um, are high on them, but that's because of the release mechanism on them. But to be fair, the price pays because it saves a lot of aggro of getting the alarms tight. And if you if you're one of these who likes to take your alarms off your bus of bars and storm in cases, this is the one for you. No faff about quick turn of the little of the little you can hear it. 
little um, lock, quick turn. It's literally, I'll say that's like, that's like a 10 mil, 10 mil turn, little turn. I'll say, yeah, little, I'll say 10, between 10 and 15 mil little turn, and it uh, releases the insert. Then, when the insert's in, you release, and it'll lock it in place, so. Um, sorry about this review, it's a bit everywhere, but um, hope you enjoy that. Um, yeah, um, it's no, just them little bits what i am test, but we test that over time. Might do a second review after they aged a bit. Um, I'm not, they're not a year, they're only three and a half months old. Um, I've been using them, so we see with age with them and. Um, and see if they're still going strong. I'll probably do another review mid next, probably this time next year. Give them a year, just over a year this time, and see. No, I think I've had them four months, so it's something like that. I can't remember, but yeah. So hope you enjoy this little honest review, and um, yeah. So I'll give them an eight out of ten. Just leave the two points for future preference. Oh, I'll go, go guys. <laughs>